Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the Iron Man legendary run of uh, this uh, mod. We're playing Beta 1, month number 4, and it's time to get another soldier. It's time to get uh, Corporal Mayund, um, a ranger. And rangers are one of those classes where you really can't have enough of them. They're a solid damage dealer. Uh, they start solid in the early game, are solid in the mid game, and are solid in the end game. We boost up this infiltration to make it a very light opposing force, 10 to 12 uh, enemies. And today we're going to infiltrate with uh, Zirkim and Renven, which is a, a great combination, both of them are very experienced soldiers. Got a shinobi specialist and a ranger uh, to support them. So let's jump directly into the mission. 30 intel, by the way, for Ranger, definitely a price that I would pay. And there we are, we just landed. Got a nice potential high ground over here and here. Got our VIP in the building. And it looks like a pretty straight up move. Just need to take the high ground up here. Well, that's potentially it. All right. We got a few drones, but that is okay. How do we get up this rooftop? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Almost wondering is if running all the way up to here and then uh, alongside that rooftop is worth it. Or if we're rather taking that roof, but that roof unfortunately opens up to the street over here and I fear that that's just triggering more enemies. So instead, let's move up. Running. Not the best start. But yeah, we're going to be fine. I am considering... I think we had enemies over here, so I don't want to trigger them. I was considering taking the second floor, but upon further um, thought process, that's maybe not a good idea. Let's instead just move all the way over the rooftop. Good. We got a pick down here. And another pick over there. I have visual. Plus two more drones. So that's already six. And we know it's seven to nine, so it's probably another simple pick somewhere. So we don't want to be spotted out. Up here. We know that they are downstairs, so I want to prevent stepping on either of these fields. Affirmative. Moving out. And instead we're moving all the way over there.
This here should also not trigger anyone. Sirke moves to here. And Scooter moves all the way to here. Everyone was running that way, just Scooter had, had to spot them out. I call massive bullshit on this one. All right, and we're triggering all of the packs. I and there's the last pack over here. Okay. We can't even give any ability to someone else, which is great. Which means the question of the day is, oops, whom are we going to kill? This here is an option, but it's not a secured kill. Seven to nine. Six to eight. Hmm. Okay. We got Bladestorm, so that accounts for something. The sector it can't really do much. I don't want to charge blindless the in because the uh, the last pack's over there. Can't move or can't uh, give an action to anyone else, which means uh, we're going to kill the viper. Well, hello there, fellow friend. Of course, one damage short, but we do have Bladestorm, which, depending on what she does, might kill her. And we also triggered a chosen one, of course. The smallest of mistakes and the entire mission goes down south. And it wasn't, it wasn't even a mistake. I walked exactly on the same fields as everyone else beforehand. There's something awkwardly wrong. It said 10 to 12. Chosen is moving near your position. This, Stay by the way, should people. trigger Bladestorm. Luckily, everyone's immune to poison. Come on, miss. Oh, wow, area suppression, that stinks. Double movement. Okay, it could have been worse. Not a lot worse, to be honest, but it could have been just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit worse than that. Best possible timing for Oscar Mike. 
Good. We're going to go aggressive. Got to deal. I got to deal essentially with both of them, but probably need to go over here. Which might trigger another pack. I'm fully aware of that. And which will also leave me exposed with him. I'm totally aware of that as well. But we gotta deal with uh, we gotta deal with the shields first. Otherwise, this all is going to be very painful for us. So fortify. Because we already know that this is going to be painful. Probably going to move down here. That's a solid position. We could position ourselves over here and wouldn't be flanked, but that would open that entire area here. Ah, ouchie. Charge all the way up to here. That would trigger them for sure. This here, as crazy as it sounds, is probably still the best bet. Could move to here. That means he's going here and uh, takes a shot at us. Could move to here. Means he's going to here and take a shot at us, plus we don't know what's over here. So this position is exposed as it is. It's probably still one of the best positions that we do have. We might empower him further with um, 8 protocol. That way, 8 protocol plus fortify will give him almost a full cover. Equivalent, not almost, it will give him a full cover equivalent. Yeah, we've just triggered another pack. And it's good that I haven't taken the other side because uh, that would have been a massive headache. All right. Time to deal with the shield bearer first. Perfect. Shield removed. We can shut down one of them. We're still area suppressed, okay? Mm -hmm. We can kill the Viper. Can we reach anyone else? Not in here. Barely everyone else is ba everyone else barely out of range. Which means that it's probably a no-brainer. There's still a sector downstairs, by the way. Pretty good loot. Can't hit anyone here. We could go down to here into full cover. Let's take a fortify and pull out another another overwatch shot which he's most likely going to miss and that should end the area suppression
because he ran out of ammunition. Area suppression costs 3, every shot costs 1. He has 5 shots in his magazine. And now we are in full cover. And can take care of uh, him. Fortunately, he wasn't enough. Okay, that's one kill. Minimum damage five. Yeah, that's another kill. Okay, easy enough. Good, we could April call him. And you know what? Throwing a nice flashbang down here. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, so this Renman essentially for one round has the equivalent of full cover. Although he's flanked. And whilst we're at it, might as well hit the two. They can only see Renman. So with the disorientation, their movement speed is very much slowed down. Which means they are way more stationary than before. Hunger down. Oh, perfect. Well, he actually helped us uh, because panic will only last for one round thanks to our um, continent bonus. And with Hunger Down, that's another 20% bonus, plus he cannot be crit. So we're looking at what? Um, plus 60. Yeah. He has less than 10% chance to hit us. Oh, and he gets a, ma uh, a Malice on top of it for being so close with his gun. So he's a machine at the moment. He's tanking it. Unfortunately, that's not a sustainable um, tactic. We used a lot of the cooldowns right away. Like I said, panic removed. Kishing. Time to outsmart our opposition. Which means we can flank this guy over here. Hopefully killing it with a crit. Uh, quite the opposite. Gazing shot. <laughs> Not what I was expecting or hoping for. Kill that sector. And that guy here. Not sure if it's going to work though. Okay, Renman. If Renman moves over here, he's in full cover, double shot, kills him, and has a nice little front line for all of those. Schmucks. I think that's the right play. Okay, I'll go. Oh, 
Oh, right, buddy, that's that's what I wanted to see. Fortunately, he doesn't have cereal yet, because then he would be just unstoppable. All right, we're taking the better positions here. Another nice little flanking position over here. Like, hello. And goodbye. Moving over here. Let's see. Well, he's in full cover. That stinks. Can we? Somehow. Uh, that that here would be a flanking shot directly into him I would definitely prefer the high ground but we don't have enough range right moving over here would definitely be absolutely fantastic to kill this guy Moving down to here is the best alternative. And if we don't hit him, we'd still have a plan B. So let's kill him. On my way. Might be an odd move, but we're still in full cover alongside the stairs. We can be flanked over here though. Because our wild card is the command here, which would have allowed us to gain another action on uh, Zirke. But since we don't need that, we instead will. Move to here. And give Renvim another turn. To continue his onslaught. I love it. <laughs> what a successful round. We just slaughtered them. Fantastic. Yeah, he's probably going to resurrect someone. Good. And we killed like what? Seven? Two drones. Two in the first pack, Viper and him. And three. Have we just been hit through the wall? Okay. Well. That's an innovative way of doing it, I, I guess. All right, this here deals with the sector. Of course. One short. Got the goods. Rock and roll. Hmm. 
Moving closer, and let's kill this guy. We don't want Renvin to to be um, taken by the Chosen. The Chosen, quote unquote, has vanished. I'm still a bit in disagreement with her ability to, to just like slice through the wall. But apparently XCOM and I have a bit of a different understanding as of how solid object, uh, objects work. While XCOM, XCOM's engine perceives them as somewhat optional, I am actually of the opinion that solid matter shouldn't be penetrated. I know. Crazy, right? Good. We're moving into positions where I think we're going. We can take a couple of shots. Um, I have forgotten to take a look at the chosen's abilities. Not sure if she has shadow step, i.e., if she can completely avoid um, overwatch shots. So we kill two drones, two in the first pack, three in the next one. So that's four, seven, eight. We've seen another pack, I think, inside. We got plenty of turns left over. Not, a problem. Not sure where the chosen is exactly. That was a beautiful crit. Hell yeah. But she's going to slowly creep up on us. That's for sure. I want to prevent that from happening, so... I guess that'll be okay. We're not standing right next to the wall again. I've learned my lesson. Uh, she's nowhere near. Uh, I would say we're positioning ourselves over here. She's anyways going to charge in. So that's one overwatch, two overwatches, three overwatches. Okay, we're fucked. Should have moved beforehand. <laughs> Should have moved beforehand. Okay, we can't really do anything against being being hit by her. I mean, we got a solid chance of actually hitting her. Decent damage. She's not just going to run away. She's going to hit us. And it's going to hurt. Now go! My force is 
Well, that can maybe that'll trigger the overwatch shots. Who knows? Usually, when she prelates, uh, she has a second turn. Yeah, that should definitely trigger overwatch. Okay, great. Which means we've dealt with that, and now here comes her second turn. Plenty of damage. We're going to see about that, but you know what I'm also sure about? That a good old-fashioned run and gun will teach you some manners. Moving down, all the way up to here. Well, look who's there! I'm very thankful for rapid fire. 100%, almost 100% crit chance, we're looking at massive damage, that might be even a kill for her. If we're critting... Oh, holy shit, 22 points of damage. And 21, well... Suck this. All right, fair enough. You are the only one to have ever forced my withdrawal, and now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. Great job, Commander, but there's no trace of that chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, good time for some healing. And we're going to use the momentum to move up and to grab some loot body shield and conditioning that's not bad at least all of the Overwatch, all of the overwatches haven't been wasted. So we have one more pack left over. Raskill is going to heal himself one more time. I just want to prevent that um, we're accidentally running out of hit points. Sure thing. Moving up. Nothing happens. So. Moving further up. And Renman pretty much carried this mission. I mean, it was such a pop off moment when he already uh, went in and killed the others. Like the shield bearer here, and then essentially um, just going completely crazy and killing the gunner afterwards and the lieutenant. But being able to run all the way up to the Chosen and essentially dealing 43 points of damage. Yeah, that was solid. We're green to go. Okay, we're going to oh, yeah. reload. One Overwatch and that's about it. Still got 17 turns. Plenty of time. Uh, 
Okay, we know that we can get into the building. Let's just, let's just double check we're not triggering anything. Single move with everyone so that the guys in the back end, uh, in the background can start catching up. Moving over here. Pretty good. Moving over here. Okay, I'll go. Oh, what? A civilian can open a door? Well, that was new. And I feel overall the mission have gone reasonably well. I mean, clearly we have had typical bullshit moments like being spotted out initially, although not moving into line of sight and being attacked through a solid wall. Well, hello there. That's a severe case of bad breath that we're seeing right there. Good, he can see the berserk. She can see the berserk as well. One hit, two hits. Holy moly, nice little critical hit. Yeah, pretty solid damage, going to lie. I'm trusting you here. Moving in. Yeah, whatever you said. How about a nice little shotgun to the face? Yep. Seems like a good idea. Reload and time to enter the prison. I think we've just killed every single enemy. In fact, I'm pretty sure that we've killed every single enemy. Reloading. Come get some. And we have 15 more turns. Yep, we have killed every single enemy. So... This here should be an easy sort of running to the edges, reload Solid copy. before we even open. Because once we open, that'll trigger reinforcements and I just want to make sure everyone's safe and secure.
That'll do. Eyes peeled. All right, Overwatch. And that's about it. At the end, we were much faster than I was anticipating originally. Still got plenty of time left over. And I think we got nice rewards. This here is essentially 40 intel, or even more if you if you take a long, uh, longer distance um, area. Hmm. But it's only by 33%. You know what, we're going for the supply crates. Doesn't matter anyways, because we failed. Alright, moving up. Not even sure if we're facing reinforcements or if this is it. I think this is pretty much it. Yeah, next turn we're going to evoke the rest. Got it. I'm gone. Back in it in. Yeah, overall I would say a successful mission. I mean it had its up and downs as always if you fight against the chosen. There is the chance that you are getting severely injured. She got two hits off. One where I would call bullshit on that. Because she hit us through the wall. And the other one was foreseeable. And it just happened. She usually gets uh, the two jump onto you. So one hit is quote unquote normal. And there is the landing. Yeah, we got a 12 days wounding, and I think we deserve that for taking such a harsh beating. But we also got ourselves a nice advantage here. Center mass, definitely the way to go. Plus one damage with the main gun is extremely helpful. The other two are fine as well, but I would probably always go for the extra damage point. Can make the difference between one-shotting someone and not one-shotting someone. And yeah, overall decent loot. Plus we got ourselves Captain Mayund.